and welcome to the next episode of Sound Bites, ISA short form video series delivering bite sized advice on topics that are important to insurers. I'm Darren Reffitt, the volunteer chair of ISA's e learning committee and the director of product marketing excellence with Guidewire Software. And today I'm joined by corporate culture expert John Garrett. John graduated from the University of Notre Dame and became a CPA with PricewaterhouseCoopers before working several years in the industry. Since then, he's written two Emmy-nominated award shows. He has a comedy album on Sirius XM, and he's been on stage over 2,000 times, opening for the likes of comedian Louis Anderson and the band Train. His research and his speaking caused Accounting Today to name him one of the top 100 most influential people in the profession. And his new book, What's Your And?, is getting rave reviews. John, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, hey, Darren, I'm excited to be a part of the IASA Exchange in, in January. So thanks so much for having me on. So John, a lot of companies are struggling right now to adjust to the impact of the pandemic, while others seem to be reacting and pivoting as needed to the new normal. What do you think has been the biggest culture takeaway from 2020? Yeah, man, it's 2020 was a year. That's for sure. It was a year. And I, I think the thing that it really showed is that, uh, you know, we're all human. We're all human. And, and also, we've all been in each other's homes now. Uh, you know, with these video calls, uh, you've been in coworkers' homes that maybe they would have never invited you over and vice versa. And, and not only that, but they've, they've heard your dog barking for the delivery. They've seen the cat walk across the camera and cover it up. And they've seen your kids yelling because they can't log in for homeschooling and all these things. You're wearing a, a t-shirt and, or whatever. You know, I mean, it's just uh, the, the human side to all of us just came out and we can't be this facade of, uh, you know, uber professional person that's all work all the time and has their stuff together all the time. It's, it's not the case anymore. We're, we're all human and we've all seen it and, and the toothpaste is out of the tube now. So I think, uh, going forward, you know, just to embrace that and, and ask people about their dog and, you know, Hey, that artwork that was on your wall, where's that from? What is that? That's cool type of thing. And, you know, I think that that's a big piece of, of what happened in 2020. So you're saying we probably won't be going back to business as usual. And instead, successful companies will need to embrace and foster these more personal relationships as we move forward? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, one thing that uh, I'll talk about, you know, at the exchange, but uh, that people can start to think about, though, is what I call culture core. And so uh, culture core is what I think is uh, is how your your the organization's culture should be built. So if you ask people and the people watching here, if I were to ask you, uh, hey, you know, what makes your company different or what makes your department unique? And it's the people. That's what I always hear. The people. It's the people. But it's not just the people. And there's another level to it there. So if if I'm not an artist, that's for sure. I'll say that up front. But let's say your organization is an apple. Okay. And uh, that's your organization uh, here. Um, and, uh, and, and then you say the differentiator is the people. Okay, uh, so that your organization clearly is made up of people, but those people are made up of passions. And that is actually your differentiator, is your, the passions and the personality of the people in your department of your company. That is your culture core, okay? So if I were to take everyone from your department and remove them and bring in new people that have the same degrees and same technical skills and certifications, the work gets done the same, but it's a totally different company, totally different department, and it's because of your culture core, which is your people's outside of work passions and interests, or what I like to call their and. Uh, you're an analyst and a ballroom dancer and a painter and a cyclist and a uh, binge watcher of Netflix and a wine enthusiast. Whatever your and is, the collective of that is, is the core of your organization's culture. So shine a light on that. Uh, celebrate that. And uh, that's what we'll talk about at the exchange uh, the end of January. So I'm looking forward to it, Darren. You know, I've never thought of it quite that way, but I have to agree that joining Guidewire in February just before the move to work from home, I've built more personal, deeper relationships in nine months than I have in previous jobs over the course of years. And it's definitely made a difference in both my relationships with my teammates as well as the level of teamwork 
both within the department as well as across the company. So as I mentioned earlier, John will be the keynote at IASA Exchange Lite on January 25th and 26th, and you can learn more about that event at isa.org slash exchange light. John, thanks so much again for joining us. One last question. If viewers want to find you online or on social media, is it easy to do? Yeah, totally. People can uh, check me out at whatsyourand.com. There's a podcast with 400 plus episodes. My book just came out in September, getting a lot of rave reviews. Had the forward by Lou Holtz. I'm a huge college football fan. That's my and uh, for sure. And so uh, that's that's cool to have that. And, and so yeah, whatsyourand.com. Connect on LinkedIn, all the social media from there. Great. Thanks again. I hope our viewers have enjoyed this video and the insights we've shared, and we welcome your feedback. If you have questions you'd like us to cover in future sound bites or issues you'd like us to talk to, you can tweet at me at DMRefit or at ISA at ISA Inc. You can also email me at DRefit at Guidewire.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Soundbites. Bites.